عليكم نجاز اهلا وسهلا بكم another epic comparison Pocophon F1 versus Pocophon F2 it seems that the Redmi K30 Pro might be the Xiaomi Mi 10T or the Pocophon F2 globally available this is the Chinese version which I'm having and many people are discussing right now rumors that the Redmi K30 Pro probably it is the Pocophon F2 or the Mi 10T but we will see in general so what's gonna happen that's why I put it in my title this uh, the uh, additional aka uh, tag name for you because this is gonna be really shocking ninjas it's gonna be really shocking I mean not shocking we should already expect, expect that I mean this is the comparison between the Pocophone F1 and the Redmi K30 Pro uh, screen design speaker and the camera comparison so watch this video till the end this first we're gonna begin with the design ninjas uh, basically you can see by yourself huge huge difference 2018 versus 2020 edition uh, so what do we have regarding these two smartphones? So later on we're going to discuss about the uh, screen. 3.5 mm headphone jack with both of them. Pop-up camera with the, Mi, uh, with the Redmi K30 Pro. Uh, IR blaster and noise cancellation microphone. Pocophone F1 doesn't have an IR blaster. On the bottom we have a Type-C USB port, uh, SIM slot with the Redmi K30 Pro and speaker with both of these devices, Ninjas. On the left side we have a dual SIM acceptable slot with the Pocophone F1 and SD card expansion. Mi, uh, K30 Pro doesn't have it. And on the right side, volume rocker and power button. Check this out, ninjas. On the back, dual cameras versus quad cameras. So again, and also physical fingerprint sensor with the Pocophone F1. 218 versus 220, ninjas. Uh, sorry for that. 2018 versus 2020, a year of release. Oh my god, oh my god, that is so amazing. Check this out, how these smartphones are advancing, bro. Of course, Redmi K20 Pro had the similar design regarding the screen. And when just 8.8 millimeter thick versus a 9 millimeter thickness, uh, 182 grams, uh, kind of light in comparison to the uh, Redmi K30 Pro, which is almost 220 grams. Yes, 218 grams. It's a bit heavy smartphone, just yes, large panel, and it is heavy. So and in just uh, polycarbonate, uh, polycarbonate material plastic on the back, Redmi uh, Pocophone F1, that's why it was cheap under selling under $400 on the pre-release date and we have glass on the back with the K30 Pro glass on the front also according to like glass 3 according to like glass 5 uh, both sides, both sides, ninjas. And anyway, let's now move to the screen comparison. You're gonna have the buying links in the description below for these two smartphones. Pocophone F1, $250. Redmi K30 Pro, $460. So around $200 more expensive, ninjas. Yes. Stay tuned. Okay, viewing angles. Pocophone F1 on the left, K30 on the right. You already can see, ninjas, the difference uh, in the AMOLED panel on the right side versus the LCD IPS. It's a huge difference. Just check here how bright it is and how uh, basically how uh, the visual aspect of the K30 Pro is just, just another level in comparison to the Pocophone F1. Look how dimmer it is. Uh, from some angles, it's like, you know, completely maybe even unusable. But direct here, still, you can see a big difference in the brightness and in the colors. Yeah, check this out now. Anyway, Pocophone F1, it is two years old. In time of the release, it was the best buy and still one of the best buys, uh, cheapest Snapdragon 845 smartphones in the world. Uh, while the K30 Pro is the cheapest smartphone with the Snapdragon 865 chipset. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, here we are. The same uh, video sample, Ninja, the same video. Uh, HDR 60fps 1080p. Left side, Pocophone. K30 Pro on the right side, and again, it's a complete uh, destro destruction by the Redmi K30 Pro. Uh, we have 6.18 versus 6.67 inches, LCD IPS versus AMOLED Samsung, 18 with 9, 20 with 9 aspect ratio. So they are completely two different aspect ratios. Also, full HD plus resolution, 416 ppi versus 395 ppi. Interesting that the cheaper smartphone with LCD IPS has a, a higher screen density. So Ninjas, we have 2.5D curved on both of them, flat screens they are not rounded they are not curved so that's a really a kind of pro for many users who don't like to have a curved panels so regarding the screen brightness uh, interesting we have ninjas 500 luxes versus 800 luxes uh, uh, the redmi k30 pro goes up to the peak brightness is 1200 11 1200 nits ninjas which is really crazy crazy high and 180 hertz touch sensing uh, of course sample plus 5 million with one contrast ratio while uh, <laughs> Pocophone F1 has 1500 with one contrast ratio again huge huge difference especially if you want going to play VR games also of course you're going to use the uh, Redmi K30 Pro and the viewing angles are also like we saw uh, completely better with the Redmi K30 Pro 
Dungeon Sensing system is also better for the gaming. You're gonna have a better gaming experience with the Redmi K30 Pro slash Pocophone F2 uh, or slash uh, Xiaomi Mi 10T. So any just a complete winner here, uh, HDR10 Plus certified, full sRGB, wide gamut color uh, production there. So you have many different options with the K30 Pro. It's just a completely a different world in the screen. Uh, but again, remember that this is 250 versus $460, $200 price tag difference. Man, 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 man. Anyway, let's go with the speaker comparison now. Okay, let's first begin with the Pocophone F1, which is which is really interesting. Maybe it's two years old, but in this time of the release, it had a feature which uh, it had a stereo speaker, a stereo sound. The sound was coming also from the earpiece. It's coming from here, bro. <laughs> interesting. Two years old. Okay, Ninja, so clear winner it is the Redmi K30 Pro. It is louder, maybe it doesn't have a stereo feature there, but it is louder, the quality, the bass is better, the clarity is better, the loudness, just a different level in comparison to the Pocophone F1. But again, Pocophone F1 still has a really decent speakers, Ninja, for this price tag. It's really even hard to find a smartphone uh, for the price tag that has a stereo speaker, that stereo sound feature. And we just uh, saw so the, the camera. Now we're gonna go with the camera comparison, dual cameras on the back, quad cameras with the Pocophone, uh, with the Redmi Redmi K uh, K30 Pro, uh, Pocophone F1 has a 12 megapixel uh, main camera, while the Redmi K30 Pro has a 64 a 60 uh, megapixel camera. Just so it's a 64 megapixel camera, Sony IMX 686 sensor. Uh, Pocophone F1 has the main camera sensor, Sony IMX 363 sensor. So let's show you right now the difference between these two smartphones in the camera department. Hit that like and shop online with my links. Thank you. Can you just Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. So this is the camera comparison, Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro. Or let's just say it, uh, which probably will be the Pocophone F2. Uh, we will see, we will see. Pocophone F1 versus Pocophone F2. <laughs> that, we will see what's gonna happen. Maybe they're gonna release kind of the, the Redmi K30 Pro as a global version, but as branded as a Pocophone F2. We will see what's gonna happen. Can you just Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. So this is the camera comparison, Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro. Or let's just say it, uh, which probably will be the Pocophone F2. Uh, we will see, we will see. Pocophone F1 versus Pocophone F2. <laughs> that, we will see what's gonna happen. Maybe they... Can you just... Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. So this is the camera comparison. Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro. Or let's just say it, uh, which probably will be the Pocophone F2. Uh, we will see, we will see. Pocophone F1 versus Pocophone F2. <laughs> Can you just... Camera comparison. Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro. Or... Let's just say it, maybe it's even, it's going to be a rebranded uh, Pocophone F2 uh, with the global launch. We'll see what's going to happen. This is 1080p 30fps video test, both of them. Can you just camera comparison, Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro. Or uh, let's just say it, maybe it's even, it's going to be a rebranded uh, Pocophone F2 uh, with the global launch. We'll see what's going to happen. This is 1080p 30 can you just camera comparison, Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro, or uh, let's just say it, maybe it's even, it's gonna be a rebranded uh, Pocophone F2 uh, with the global launch, we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, and just right now, Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro, this is the 4K 30fps test. Let's check here the video stability uh, with these two smartphones on 4K. Can you just right now, Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro. This is the 4K 30fps test. Let's check here the video stability uh, with these two smartphones. Can you just right now, Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro. This is the 4K 30fps test. Let's check here the video stability uh, with these two smartphones. Can you just Pocophone F1 versus the Redmi K30 Pro. Or let's just say it, maybe we're going to have a Pocophone F2 as a Redmi K30 Pro. Let's see what's going to happen. I and mean, this is the night shoot, 1080p, 30fps.
Oh 